Hi. A couple days ago, I posted up a video on YouTube called Easter and Nietzsche. What do they have to do with one another? Well, um, one of my friends from seminary, graduated a couple years ago, uh, posted a reply and said, this is great, interesting, but tell me more about Rene Girard and the scapegoat theology. And so I'm going to try to do that in about four minutes. What Rene Girard has this message, this video on YouTube, if you just type his name in the search engine, um, you'll find it. It's about a minute long, and there he tries to give the, he does give um, the fundamentals of mimetic theory, and he states that mimetic theory is about human relations. It's about our social nature, and the human doesn't exist without others. The human self is no separate identity. And so mimetic theory is, Rene Girard is in this kind of debate with uh, the modern world that's trying to give us this message to think as an individual, be an individual, um, think for yourselves. And what mimetic theory does is say, well, you never really think for yourselves. You're always thinking within these social groups, within these relationships with one another, because we always exist in relationship. For example, I find my identity as a friend with you. Um, you were one of my favorite people at seminary. We had great conversations. Um, you helped me become a better thinker through our conversations, and I wish that I would have, uh, we could have spent more time with one another. Um, I exist in relationship with my wife as her husband, with my children as their parent, with my father and mother as their son. So we exist in relationship with one another, and this is a good thing because it helps us form relationships, communities based on love and um, caring for one another. What can often happen within these relationships, though, is humans end up having conflicts with one another. And unconsciously what happens is that we end up washing away these conflicts by uniting over and against another person. Somebody within our own group, often somebody who is weaker member of our group, a minority, um, who can't defend him or herself. Um, we can also form uh, a unity over and against other groups. So one family might um, not like another family for various reasons. I mean, this is like clan um, warfare or something, right? Um, when we do this, when we scapegoat, we end up finding a sense of goodness um, over and against whom we deem as bad. And this is where what you dub scapegoat theology comes in um, and helps us understand the biblical narrative, Christian theology, Jewish theology, um, I would say even uh, Muslim theology, Islamic theology, helps us understand is that we unite over and against others and we end up scapegoating them. Especially Christian theology, which says that for God so loved the world that God sends God's Son to the world, right? Um, so God comes down and identifies with human beings and tries to show us how to be in loving relationships with one another, even with those that we say are our enemies. So no longer can we form a sense of goodness over and against the badness that we think our enemies are, we love our enemies. Um, and this is the message that God is trying to give us in Jesus. Well, we don't like that message because we find a sense of goodness over and against our enemies. And so we end up saying, no, we don't want that message. And we end up crucifying this God in Jesus, um, putting him up on a uh, cross and even then, the God in Jesus is, is relentless about this message and offers forgiveness um, on the cross. And love resurrects and comes back into this relationship with others and doesn't come back for revenge, but comes back for forgiveness and says, go spread this message of forgiveness of love to others. Um, unfortunately, we quickly fall back into this scapegoat um, mentality um, scapegoat theology is trying to get us not to scapegoat and direct our desires to love one another.
So that's what I find so fascinating about medic theory. It helps me understand the biblical narrative um, on a deeper level. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Bye.